All right, here we have it. The giant TCR that we're gonna ride for National Hill Climb Champs 2020. It's a weighty old boy, 6.67 kilos. Not the lightest, but I thought I'd give you a little rundown of what's on the bike, why I've chosen it, and all the rest of it. Obviously, the frame itself, giant TCR Advanced Pro, not the lightest frame, about 1400 grams with a seat post. I think seat post is maybe another 230, but it looks mint, pretty stiff, and generally just does the job. Moving to the front, got these wheels off Grover. These are actually giant SLR wheels, 1400 grams with a pair. So again, not the lightest around. Let's be honest, tubulars could get to like a kilo. But again, not horrendous. Uh, the tires, front one, we've got Victoria Corsa Speeds. Very nice, very fast. And our rear ones, we've got GP5000. Bit of added grip, apparently the old uh, Street Lead tomorrow, which is the course, quite steep, 20% parts, and apparently the pavement's horrendous, and you're definitely gonna slip if you have got like course of speeds on. So put the old GB 5000s on pretty fast and should do the job. Then we've got the brakes, bought these specially KCNC brakes, absolutely mint, uh, 206 grams for the pair. Um, do the job again. I actually think they're quite good brakes to be honest. Everyone seems to abuse KCNC, so oh, you can't break them, but I think they're pretty decent. Uh, moving up, we've got the classic 38 centimeter handlebars from Zip. Again, not light. Zerd. The original giant stem, again, not crazy light, and the wahoo for the old pacing. Uh, no bottle cage bolts, as you can see. Go down to the chainring, 42. I think I'm quite hard, so I run a 42, maybe a bit too hard, but for most of the course, it's been okay. Tomorrow, people say it's quite steep, but I reckon, you know what, we'll be all right. Power me is the info crank, a heavy boy, 646 grams, but does just the job. Uh, it gives me good numbers. And then pedals are look Kios. Um, they're the Blade Classic heavy ones again, 280 grams I think they are for the pair. Uh, we've got carbon saddle, straight off AliExpress, dodgy as you like, but 110 grams. So what more do you need? Um, obviously we're running SRAM Red ETAP, uh, rear derailleur with the Y-Fly, so it's got a 32 cassette. And the shifters again, SRAM Red ETAP, they do the trick. I like ETAP a lot. Um, the front derailleur doesn't really work, but the rear one is mint. Uh, and then the rear wheel is the same as front giant SLR. It's about, it, uh, it's pretty, pretty light to be fair. It does the job. And cassette, SRAM PG1170. So I think that's like the mid tier one. 300 grams apparently. So that's not too bad. Got my rear light, trusty rear light. Might try and get a lighter one potentially if someone's offering one. But uh, otherwise, it's all good. And then in terms of like clothing, got the old no pin skin suit here. Absolutely mint as always. Uh, and then got some new aero socks, which I'm very happy about. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be flying at speeds of up to 20k an hour. So these aero socks really are going to make the difference between me coming 40th and 41st. Uh, but yeah, that's the bike. Oh yeah, quick release skewers, carbon TI, 18 grams. They're mint. Uh, but yeah, this is the bike. If you've got any upgrades? Let me know. 6.67 is a lot heavier than I thought it would be, especially with SRAM ready tap and all the stuff. But I reckon we've got bulky frame. Wheels could shave quite a lot, like 400 grams. I'm not sure where else it's coming from. Maybe the carbon carbon handlebars. But there we go. Tomorrow we'll be off at 12.30. There's a live stream. I'll lob it in the link. If you could like screen record slash watch it, that'd be great. And uh, we'll have a post-race analysis afterwards uh, where you get to see the great numbers I'm going to put out. Anyway, cheers for watching. We'll see you in the next one.